Today's actually the most exciting day I feel like of this entire week because I'm on my way to the second day of a weekend clinic that I'm doing with Laura Bowery and I'm going to head up to the barn. This is my horse Claire. Claire is a 17 year old Dutch warm blood. She did everything before coming here. She was a Grand Prix horse, she did mini pre, she did high children, low children's, hunters, and now she's my two six, three foot lesson horse until I have something of my own. Uh, she's a little sassy. Uh, we're a little excited this morning, but she's always a good girl and I think we're gonna have fun today. Fingers crossed, I guess. Like, I'm just gonna try to stay on. I think that's my goal for the day. So, see you later. Special thanks to Jenna for filming me. Bye, Jenna. Bye. Hi, I'm Joanna, and it's freezing. And we're about to watch Shelby's class in the Laura Bowery Clinic. Okay, bye. And this is Shelby warming up for her horse show, I mean her clinic. Oh my god, hi Joanna. Hi, hi Shelby. <laughs> We're going to get a talking to you right now. A little pep talk, a little uh, rundown of the events that are about to... She's basically saying they're going to die today. <laughs> oh, she's dead. <laughs> okay, so Laura has decided to get on Riley's horse, Cooper. He's not being bad, but I think she thinks that she can help the situation. She has a very excited lead change right now. I'm really excited to As see per it. As usual, we're super excited. I think it's gonna be great. I'm yeah. so thrilled. So we're gonna get this on video. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, can't turn it off. Got it. Nope. 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 Okay. Edit this out, Shelby. for a school project. Vlogging? Vlogging. I think it's a video blog. I think yep. that's that that what the kids call it. That's, that is what the children call it. I had it, I uh, Urban Dictionary the other night to be certain. Yes, they have heard of it. But welcome to the blog. What do you think, Colleen? No? No comments? Nope. Alright, nope. that's fine. I'll just go Filming the commentary. Cry. Yes, I have to do it for a vlog. <laughs> you know that's a video and a vlog in one. That's why they call it a vlog. Take her Alright, so that was just a little bit of a bobble. No big deal. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> so that was a triple bobble. We call that whoops in a question language, and it's fine. And Shelby Phillips, of course, is unfazed by her symptom, and she's in real time. Mm. Yeah, she got the right idea. And now she corrected it, and she's fine. And that's how you do it. Some jumps. Oh, come on, Claire. Claire likes to put her head down. I think it's just Perfect. what she likes to do. Claire is experiencing some gas. <laughs> I assure you, for anybody watching, it's completely it's normal. <laughs> completely normal. Wow, that was wonderful. Positive feedback from Lauren. Always a good sign. Um, so we were unhappy about jumping today and she was really bad, but then she was better. That's okay. 
sometimes you have a great day with your horse, sometimes you have a, a disappointing day. I know she wants you to know that she hears everything I'm saying. That could have gone a lot worse, I didn't fall off. So I'm gonna take it for what it was. Yesterday was a lot better, but we'll try fresh next time. So I'm gonna go and tack her. Horns tried to kick no. me with her front leg. I stuck her with a needle. Oh. Right. She took her front leg and... She's right? so bad. I oh, know. fresh. That's Allison, Allison's a vet. Two special guests at the barn today. <laughs> Uh, this is a very small horse. It's about half a hand. Simple changes. Oh, hello. Are you excited to be doing the pre-baby greens this year? <laughs> I think Lola is actually a Grand Prix prospect. Oh. <laughs> so vacuums are not only for the house. <laughs> They're also for horses. Yes. Top three favorite things about a horse. Top three favorite things. They're really beautiful, more so than I will ever oh, be in life. That. I can't keep, keep saying the things, they're just so cute. They don't talk back, <laughs> so I can say whatever I want. Like when they're good and you're good, you feel amazing, and when you're bad and they're good, like you still feel amazing. Papucho, can you confirm? <laughs> <laughs> He's a man of little words, but they speak volumes. <laughs> you can quote me on that. Hi everyone, this is Justin. Justin is an equine photographer and barn husband. Hello. Justin, what is your favorite part about coming to the barn? Taking pictures. Okay, why? Oh, and supporting my wife. Supporting your wife, <laughs> thank you. So the clinic just ended and I finished watching the lower classes go. Very cold, these are all horse coolers. So I'm gonna go back to the barn and wrap my horse and then go home, take a hot bath and pass out. My name is Joanna, this is my horse, Gecko. He is the best. He's so cuddly. And this is my husband, Justin. Justin doesn't really ride yet, but he's amazing with horses and every horse loves him. As you can see, they just want to cuddle with him and not with me. Hi, I'm here with Maddie and Delilah. Hello. <laughs> who are winning the most improved award for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie and Delilah just finished the two foot clinic. <laughs> Maddie, how do we feel? Um, pretty good. A little tired, but pretty good. Okay, that's great. Hey, This is Cooper. His show name's Cooper Island, and I'm Riley. So my favorite thing to do with him in the ring is definitely lateral work, because he used to be a dressage horse, and taking him over, like, tricky courses and, like, turning him a lot and stuff. And my favorite thing to do outside of the ring is play with him in, like, his paddock or whatever, and he kind of just follows me around and chases me and stuff. Hi, my name is Lauren Barone, and this is my horse, Tigger. I've had him for 14 and a half years. So I bought him from a very famous hunter trainer, um, Stacy Schaefer. So she is a full brother to her AO hunter that she won everything on, and she was going to make him into one of her own hunters but she got pregnant with her daughter Maddie um, and had to sell him and now Hi, I'm Amy. I am 24 years old. This is Papucho. He's four years old. He's owned by my trainer Andrew Mizoraka and I'll be riding him for like most of the time that he He's here with us. He will actually get lighter as he ages, so unfortunately he won't stay this dark, which makes me really sad because he's so beautiful. He's really fun to ride, but he's young, so he like doesn't really know where to put his feet. He doesn't know how to go straight, but it's definitely a learning curve for the both of us, and he's already improved a lot. He's young, so we don't do a ton with him. You know, like, sometimes I only ride him for 20 minutes, and if he's good, we just leave him alone. Um, especially with the young horses, you don't want to fry their brains too much because they kind of need to do something and do it well and then be done for the day. And so I basically do everything that needs to be done for the horse that I ride by myself and I also help out a lot of the other girls who are you know still in high school. Every horse is on a schedule so some horses are lunch Monday morning, some horses are lunch Thursday morning, some Friday morning. I ride every day and have to tack all the horses by myself, guide them, untack them, put their blankets back on. Some of them have to go back outside, some of them stay inside. Just a lot of responsibility, but it's also fun. And um, you know, I love all the girls and all the horses are wonderful, so they're easy to work with. And it makes me happy to know that I contribute to their success. 
Nice. He likes to accessorize and put hay in his hair. Only up there, though. Um, I think it, it really adds to his, his look that he's sporting, which is some type of a gray ombre. People pay a lot of money for this type of look, but it's actually natural for Mapucho. So Claire just came in from outside, and the last thing we have to do is poultice and wrap her legs, which basically means we're gonna put like a paste on her legs. It's going to draw the heat and swelling um, out of her and get her a little less sore than she would be. And then on top of that, we put um, a wet paper, which just makes it last longer, and then a bandage wrap and a standing wrap over that. Ow, shit. Drop the camera. You dropped the camera? No, I, I'm good, keep going, sorry. Wow, you're really getting into this joint. <laughs> I have nothing much to say about the poultice besides it's really cold and like I'll get home and find it all over my clothes and Claire doesn't seem to like it. <laughs> Joanna, Joanna, you're moving a lot. <laughs> I need this to be a little more still. <laughs> um, fun fact about this bucket of poultice. My boyfriend doesn't know anything about horses and he's very anti-horse, which we're working on since he carried this around Manhattan for me and it weighs like 15 pounds. So oh, in the morning, this is all going to turn hard and white like chalk, and then you just like scratch it off with a brush basically. Um, and you don't wanna use water because then it doesn't come off. Yeah. Joanna, how do you feel about being the DP? I'm very honored for this role in yeah. Shelby's movie, or um, her documentary. Joanna would like four credits from NYU for her work on this film. Yes, please, and then may I please be on the equestrian team? Um, yeah, if anyone watching this documentary would like to join the NYU equestrian team, you can do that. But you gotta learn how to pull this first. You gotta learn how to pull this first. So watch this documentary watch and this learn. Documentary. So this is a standing bandage. It kind of works like an ace bandage for humans, but it's for a horse. So you want your horse standing straight. This is poultice paper. that likes to pull off their bandages, you can put duct tape um, just right here to keep them from ripping it. So Claire's in bed waiting for dinner, which is coming around soon, which is why she's being so excited. Um, but I'm gonna go home now and she's gonna go to sleep. So I'm in my car, I'm going home. If you are at a nicer barn, you do have all that work done for you. I like doing it myself most times. I mean, some days I come and I'm really tired and I have like three or four horses to ride. Sometimes it would be nice to have the privilege of having someone help you. I don't mind doing it myself. This was a pretty abnormal day for me because it was like a clinic show-ish day. On a Saturday or Sunday, I'll be here from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and then I'll come back at 7 and wrap and butte and do whatever I need to do. I ride a lot of ponies, two horses, sometimes three. Sometimes I don't take a day off, but like this week I have four days off until I ride my next horse. So it's not the worst life. It's definitely a very privileged and very lucky life that I live and I'm very happy to have and I'm like very grateful that my parents have made available to me. So I think that's it. I, I'm i gonna go home like I said and sleep a lot. I'm really really tired. My friends are really funny. I have to see what footage they left on here. Bye!